Oh, how depressing is this? That it's this dark. And it's 6.50. Oh. Mm, that's a good cup of cough. I guess I'll put my lights on, although this is not really how I wanted to greet you. But good morning. Welcome back. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. Thanks, Brogan. Brogan says, welcome back. Listen, I have watched through my videos, obviously, because I edit them. And I just wanna say that I apologize for the terrible mood that I was in. I just feel like some weeks or days, I just feel so depressed and I can't get out of my head and I feel so self-critical and I feel like I'm not doing enough. Fast forward two weeks later, I'm doing the exact same things and I feel like exhilarated and I feel like I can conquer the world. If you are a woman who experiences her menstrual cycle, you get your period just be easy on yourself i think that hormones play a really big role in our mental health more so than the world is willing to admit like i don't know what it is i just think and i don't want to go into it because we all know i always say i don't want to go into it but i think that health care for women is terrible men and women for the most part are except if you're going to the gynecologist but also like don't even get me started on the gynecologist but we are all treated as humans as if we have a 24-hour cycle One one population of humans has a 24 hour cycle, which is men. Women do not have a 24 hour cycle. We have a 30 day cycle. It's really not spoken about the fact that our hormones wreak havoc on our mental health, our mental state. I'm gonna do some research. I definitely wanna talk more about this on my channel because I do think that it's really, really important. I just feel like women, we kind of get pushed aside. Like even when we go to the gynecologist, like we will complain that we have pains, at least for me. And they just say, oh, just take the pill, like, or take a higher dosage of the pill. And it's like, why do we just throw pills at the problem? We get very dismissed. I just feel like overall, the healthcare system is trash, especially when it comes to women. And that is a hill that I will die on. Anywho, I woke up at 6.30 with my husband because he woke up to go to the gym and I just figured, let me start my day and do the skincare and do the things. But I said like, oh my God, it's so dark. And he said, well, winter is coming. And I'm just like, that's not, I'm not into that. I'm not. This coffee that Michael made is delicious recently i just kind of feel like i look in the mirror and i think it's a thing that people say that happens like you look in the mirror and you're like the fuck is that wow you've been through so much like what's happening i recently have been changing around my skincare and i am very pleased with the results that i've been seeing which i'm going to talk you through i'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine which tonight i'm using retinol i've been using retinol every other night we mentioned this in another video but i'm just going to show you all the things that I'm doing for the skin. You guys know, I love beauty, I love skincare. I'm very sorry, is this boring? Are you sick of me talking about- 6.58 a.m. What just happened? I just feel like my skin looks tighter, my skin looks brighter. I feel like my fine lines are not as noticeable and I feel like my face isn't as saggy. Retinol that I've been using, the new face that I, well, I've been using the new face forever, but I've been using the new face more often is definitely contributing to this. And also guys, like this castor oil that I did with you in my last video, I don't know. I feel like my brows look bushier, but I don't know if it's my brows that look bushier or the fact that my hair is lighter that my brows look more dark. I don't know. I, again, it's this lighting is trash. I will show you the lighting if, you know, the sun ever decides to come up today. I just got like a deja vu moment of that video. What is that Disney video with the rooster? Oh my God, where's my sister? It's like the rooster had to find the sun and the sun wouldn't come out. rock a doodle do. Stay away, you big old little rain cloud or I'll cry loud with this force of mine very sidetracked. I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm very talkative today. I feel a little hyper despite it being 7 a.m. Castor oil. I feel like it's definitely doing something. I've been using this on my brows every single night. My lashes every other night. I definitely think the lash serum works better for my lashes, but this seems to be doing a pretty good job for my brows. I don't know why. I'm giving myself a little bit of a schedule here because I feel like my last few vlogs have been a little mishmash, mishposh all over the place. We're gonna do skincare. I'm gonna show you a new lip liner that I bought, a new 
lip gloss that I bought. I also bought a bunch of like two-piece sets from Amazon that got really good reviews. I want to look more sophisticated and I don't know if you can see but I'm wearing like cuter pajamas than normal. I'm also wearing shorts. I don't know. I'm kind of just and no shade on it and some days I will look like a slob but I think like overall I'm kind of tired of looking like a slob and I kind of just want to level up and I'm going through all my clothes and I'm just going to donate a ton of them. I feel like this is the season to just like donate clothes. People need things. I don't need them. What was the point of that? Oh my Amazon haul. We're going to do an Amazon haul. A little makeup sprinkle of new things that I've gotten. We're going to talk about my skincare. We're going to work out. We're going to do just like those kind of things and it is my Aunt Abby's birthday today. So happy birthday Aunt Abby if you're watching this. Well happy belated because it will be after the fact but I'm going to get ready. Mike and I are going to go to the Short Hills Mall. Maybe I'll buy something even though I shouldn't. Then we're going to go celebrate my aunt's birthday and I also need to paint my nails. I'm going to stop talking because this intro has been the length of a lifetime um and i'll see you in a bit i told you i would do all the skincare i'm not going to show you all the skincare because i'm very sure you guys are sick of watching me do this so i did my new face you know i used my peter thomas roth i did my new face for like 25 minutes i really took my time today i've been doing the new face three times a week. If I wake up early before I go to work, I do an express routine. So I'll do one for like 15 minutes. Um, but today I took about 25, 30 minutes to do it. Because I told you I would tell you all the new things that I'm doing for skincare, which also, by the way, I'm getting a pimple right here. I don't know if you could see it, but I think it's from the retinol. The other benefits of it are worth it. Also, can you see how red I am for my new face? Sometimes it leaves me a little red. I have very sensitive skin. I always wear sunscreen, you know, but Mike and I go for walks so early in the morning that it's like seven. 7, 8 a.m. I don't need like SPF at that hour. What I've been doing is the new face, I washed the mask off, now I have nothing on my skin, right? I've been taking this Merit Great Skin. It's their instant glow serum. It's beautiful. I love it. You're meant to wear this underneath the Merit makeup. I find it to be too slippy slidey. That may change now that the more cooler months are approaching. A very liquidy, like a watery serum. But it does give a little bit of a glow and it just adds a little bit of like light hydration to my face. So after I do my new face, I've just been throwing this on on my neck. So now that I have this on, I'm just gonna leave it on. I will go for a walk, I'll work out, and then I wash my face while I'm showering. And then we will do my daytime skincare routine, which is very simple. Listen, if there is one thing I have learned as I've gotten older, it's that less is very much so most of the time more. The sun is like somewhat out and I'm gonna try on a bunch of my Amazon purchases because honestly, I feel like the sun is gonna be out very long. Not like the most flattering thing, but I love this. I love the two-tone of it, the color blocking. I love the raw hemline up here. I just, I don't know what it is, something about that. I really like that. I am not a fashion vlogger, but we're gonna try. Um, the pants are super cute, very comfortable. Again, they have like that two-tone pattern. I think this is so cute. Like just lounging, just trying to see if the seam, the seam on the butt looked a little wonky, but it's okay. I just feel like lounging around the house, working from home. Like this is just cuter, I would say, than lounging in my thermal pajamas. Like what do we think? It's so soft too. And I think this set was like 40 bucks, which I mean, honestly, isn't bad. And if you wanted, like you could wear this outfit out. This doesn't need to be... Oh, is this inside out? It's so interesting. I thought this was inside out. You can see like the ribbing or like where the seam is, right? But then on the inside, it doesn't have that. I'm wondering if it's reversible, but then if you look at the sleeves, like the sleeves look right, but then this way, you don't look right. I don't know. Let's, let me see. No, it was definitely right because you could see like the, that's wrong. Yeah, and the tags here. Is this the same as the other one? I think it might be the same, which I didn't realize. Not the most comfortable neckline. It is a little like, kind of like choking me. I would say if I had to choose, I like the color block one better. Also not like super flattering in the crotch region, but the top is like long enough where it covers it. I just feel like these are really cute like lounge wear. Honestly, the pants fit me really well. I'm 5'2", so I'm pretty petite. So I would say if you're a lot taller than me, these might be too short on you. This is like the perfect length for me. I think I'm gonna return this one though. The other one looks more expensive and it's like more luxe. This is terrible. I'm just gonna go out there and say it. I thought that the color was more of a chocolate brown rather than whatever brown this is. It's super comfortable. I like how oversized it is. Oh wait! So I was gonna say that it's terrible because first of all it's like 
ripped. It's like pulling. I don't know if you could see, but there's like pull right here. That's going to annoy me. But I was going to say it's terrible because the pockets are not really pockets, but they are pockets. It's just like they look like they'd be pockets from the top, but they're pockets from the side. It's like cute loungewear. I kind of feel like blasé about it, so I think I'm going to return it. Excuse me. I love this. I bought this because I was just like perusing Amazon and this came up as a suggestion. Just let, like, let me show you what my body looks like in this dress. Oh my God. So I read the reviews obviously because I'm a big review reader. Like before I buy something, I read the reviews and if there's a lot of shit reviews, I don't buy it. I was reading that this is literally like a Skims dupe. I think I make it very clear on my channel that I am anti ridiculous beauty standards. Listen, you can get whatever work you want done. I don't judge people, but I guess like in this instance, I am kind of judging people. So just stay with me. I don't judge people for what they do. If it makes you happy and it doesn't affect other people. When you are someone who is as famous as the Kardashians and you get so much work done to your body and then you lie about it and you're not totally upfront and you just create this kind of like unattainable beauty standard, unless you go under the knife, of course, and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more. I just, that's not something that I can back up. I like the idea of like a comfortable bodycon dress, but I don't like the idea of putting more money in Kim Kardashian's pockets. And if there's one thing that I've learned in my thirties is that you can have a say with where you spend your money because the world, as disgusting as it is, revolves around money. So if I choose to not use my hard earned, earned money towards something that makes the biggest statement rather than me sitting here and telling you to not support Kim Kardashian. Do you get what I'm saying? I love this dress. I have never tried Skims, but I imagine that this is what a Skims dupe would look like. This color is beautiful. It is very long. Like I'm gonna have to bring this to my seamstress and see if she can hem this. Oh my God, this is very comfortable. It is a little tight in the hips, but I think it's super nice. I'm definitely keeping this. This is a winner. I need a little bit off the bottom. It's not like terrible, terrible. What do we think? I feel like one of you is gonna buy this. It's cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. Like tell me that this neckline is not so freaking flattering. It has pads in it. I love a good boob pad. Oh my God, this color is to die. And I think it looks really good with my new blonde hair. I know we were just talking smack about Kim Kardashian, but I honestly feel like Kim Kardashian in this set. 80% of my workout clothes is from Amazon just because I think it's so stupid to spend, like I was looking at Aloe Yoga cause I love Aloe Yoga, but I was looking at their workout sets and they were $200 for a top and a pair of pants. And I think this set was like 25 or 30 bucks. I just figure like, why spend $200 on something that you're gonna sweat? Like that doesn't make sense to me. And for me, even more so, like I don't go to the gym. I work out in my basement. So why am I gonna spend $200 on something that I'm literally just working out by myself in? Does that make sense? I don't know, but this is so cute. I love this. I'm imagining I'm working out, right? Here, do you wanna see what it looks like? I don't know, let's see together. This is for me as well. So if I'm running on the treadmill, which I'm not gonna run, I'm more of a walker, honestly. I'm squatting. No, yeah, this is really comfortable. I mean, it is kind of like hitting me a little hard in areas, like so it is creating like a little bit of a roll. I don't mind, whatever, it is what it is, I don't really care. I love this, definitely keeping this. Can't wait to see it in yellow. In the meantime, I'm definitely gonna buy it in other colors. I will link it below. Oh my God, this is so exciting. And that's all that I have for now. If more things come today, I will check them out with you. Out. Sorry if it's a little loud down here. Mike is doing a laundry in the gym, which is also our basement, which is also a laundromat, a gym, and Brogan's bedroom and Brogan's um, kitchen as well. So I just wanted to say this fit, big thumbs up, very comfortable. 
I'm gonna show you the treadmill that Mike and I bought, but I started my workout with a 30 minute walk on the treadmill. While I was on the treadmill, I bought three more sets of this. And so, you know, that's how much I love it. Obviously, I feel like I should wash this before wearing the other ones, just because if they don't wash well, then I'm gonna have to return them. But so far I love them, very comfortable. They are sh like, it's shorts obviously, but they don't ride up uncomfortably. Anyway, I wanted to show you, here's our treadmill. Rogan, say hi. Hello. He literally harassed me the entire time I worked out. Yes, like that, just like that. He wanted me to pet him. But he makes me nervous because I'm holding like heavy weights and I don't want to squish on him. So far, I've only used it twice, yesterday and today, and I really like it. And it's really nice. And I think I'm going to do like a 10 minute walk just because I really didn't burn as many calories as I wanted to. This thing right here, which I've been putting my iPad in, but you can also connect to YouTube on here. So I don't technically need my iPad, which is very nice. Amazon, of course, now that I come up here and I start talking to you, the washer is being quiet. I bought a red one, a green one, and a brown one. Honestly, I love it. I think that this is like super flattering, very cute. I'm gonna make a shake. I'm starving. I'm gonna make breakfast too. Brunch, it's 11 o'clock. I've been up since 6.30 this morning, which if you know me, like anyone in my family, shooketh. I know. I've just like gotten to the point where I just like am living for the weekends, which is not healthy, but I just like, I like waking up early on the weekends because it gives me more of a weekend, you know? Like more minutes in my weekend. I wish I could sleep like until midday on the days that I have to work, which not great, but like, I don't know. I don't know what to, to tell myself. Um, this is just where we're at in life and that's okay. But I love the weekend. I live for the weekend. I love being able to wake up, go for a walk. Today we didn't go for a walk though because it's like disgustingly humid outside. I love waking up, going for a walk, working out on the treadmill, just like sitting here, enjoying my two cups of coffee because during the week I just like wake up and I feel like from the time I wake up to the time I get home after my commute, like I just feel like I'm going, going, going all day. I'm just like tired. And honestly, I really need a vacation. Me, Mike and his brother Brian are going to Vegas in a few weeks, which I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a Vegas vlog. I just emailed the spa at our hotel and I'm hoping to get a facial and a massage, getting massages for me, Mike and Brian, and then I'm getting a hydrofacial for myself. So I'm very excited. I just need to get away. I need a change of scenery. I need to just like turn off. Our last vacation was Napa when we went in April and then we got back and I literally started my new job and I just feel like I've been running, 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 going, going, going. So it's time for some time for me. We have Vegas. And then we booked a trip to LA, which I'm so excited to go back to LA because we haven't been in a few years now. I think we went in like 2019. It was definitely before the pandemic. So isn't that weird how we like date things like pre-pandemic, post-pandemic now? It's very, it's crazy. It's so weird. And I also do this thing now where I say before my dad got sick, while my dad was sick, and then after my dad died, it's very strange. Grief amongst many things. It's a very weird thing. Anyway, I'm very excited. Obviously, I will be doing travel vlogs. And like one day I honestly aspire to be a travel vlogger. Like I was talking to my sister yesterday. Her boss went to Napa and asked for recommendations and I gave her recommendations and her boss is staying at the hotel that I suggested. I'm wondering if she's going to any of the wineries, but I texted my sister and was like, imagine if I was like a Napa travel agent. Oh my God. And my sister was like, you should really be a travel vlogger. Could you imagine? I would take us everywhere. We would go and sip wines all over wine country, all over the world. Like, oh my God, I would die, honestly. Die of happiness. That would be my dream job. And I would never want to sleep late. I would wake up early every single day if I was a travel vlogger, if I was a Napa gal. I just feel like that would be so exciting. Um, but anyway, I need to drink this. I need to make some breakfast and then we need to get dressed and on with our day. I'm showered, I'm getting ready for the day, for the day. And I'm gonna show you my little skincare routine. So I wash my face using a hyaluronic acid skin wash. It's in my shower, I'm on the ass end of it. I really need to go to Sephora, honestly. Maybe we'll do that today. I need to stock up on my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber mask for my new face. I need the Ole Henriksen dark spot toner, which I'll talk about later because I do use that in my nighttime skincare routine every single night, but maybe I should make a list. I wash my face using this cleanser. Again, 
put it on the screen. I need to buy a new one. So I did like this one. I might buy this one again. Toner, I've been using this one. This is from theirs. This brand has been around forever. Witch Hazel Facial Toner with Aloe Vera Formula. It is unscented and alcohol free. And I basically just use this to add a, an extra layer of hydration to my skin. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. I have combination leaning way more so dry very sensitive skin. I love the Shiseido cotton. They're not round, so I don't know what to say this. Cotton squares? I don't know how to say that. But I saw on their Instagram the other day that they said to cut them in half. And so I'm gonna cut it in half. This is the first time I've ever done this. And I'm gonna save this other guy for tomorrow morning. Toner on here. Again, use this to add an extra layer of hydration to my face. And I also washed my face like 20 minutes ago. So she's a little dry and I need her to be hydrated because the cream, the serums will go on a lot smoother. And if you're someone that has very dry skin, but you run the risk of your makeup moving throughout the day, I would always say use a hydrating to toner. Toner. I don't know how to speak. Use a hydrating toner because it adds like the thinnest layer. Like it's literally like adding a layer of water to your skin. Bounce that over the sections of my face where I'm very dry to add a little bit extra. Shiseido Ultimune Serum. I'm gonna have to do an empty video soon because I'm really, I'm running out on everything. I have like nothing left. So I literally have to take the top off, dab the serum out in my hand. I take like a decent amount. I don't even think you could see that. It has a bunch of antioxidants in it. It's really good at hydrating, brightening your skin. So I take a little bit of this and then I've been using this which I mentioned this a really long time ago and then I stopped reaching for it, which I don't know why because I love it, but this is the Nuco. Basically vitamin C powder. You can add this to anything. You can add this to your moisturizer, your serum. I like to use it in my serum. It says to take two to three shakes. So I do a decent amount, honestly. And then I rub it into my serum. It vanishes, it's like baby powder. And then I add this to my face. Honestly, I think that my skin texture has changed so much in the past 30 days because I started inco incorporating, I need to slow down. I started incorporating vitamin C, the vitamin C I literally just showed you. And I started using retinol and I just feel like my skin looks brighter. It looks smoother. And I can't say enough good things about it. I definitely need a little bit more serum. My skin feels a little dry today. I'm just putting the serum all over my face and my neck. I kind of like to slap myself a little bit. I don't know, I'm kind of into that. And then I give this like 30 seconds to just sink into the skin. I will link all the products down below as I always do for your shopping pleasure. You guys know, I really love this facial mist. I hate it with makeup, but I really like it as a part of my skincare, but this is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist and it is hydrating and glowing. I'm very dry. I'm very dull. I'm a lot of D's. So I take a few spritzes of this because this has skin care properties in it. But again, it's also going to juice up my skin so that the sunscreen that I need to go get out of the bathroom like glides across the face a lot easier. And I let that sit for like maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Let it like sink into the skin, but I still want that kind of slip because now I'm gonna go in with my Maraud Perfecting Day Cream, SPF 30. I think I sprayed a little bit too much, which is okay. I just need to give it a second to calm down. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it all over my fachin. Don't forget your eyelids. Julie Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I use it every day and like honestly, the smallest itty bittiest bit goes a very long way. It is potent. I don't use a lot because it will irritate my under eyes, but I just use it like that. And it has vitamin C in it, so we are glowing. And it helps to cancel out the darkness. I don't know if you could see, but it does. It genuinely does. I love it. And I would, obviously I would tell you if I hated it because I'm very honest with all of you and I tell you all the truth. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna use a little lip treatment. I love this Wet n Wild one. It's so good. And then I'm gonna go do my makeup. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I will show you what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing white pants, which is quite scandalous because it is after Labor Day, but I don't care. I feel like you know, fashion faux pas. That one I think is meant to be broke. Like there are winter whites, so why can't I wear white pants? My brows are driving me nuts. I kind of want to like shave this one off and start it all over. You can't shave one brow off because then I would look even crazier than I already look. We're going through it. We're working on it. I wanted to show you these two lip products. I don't know how I feel about this lip gloss and I love the gloss and I love the formula and I love what it does to my lips and it's drugstore. It's from Milani, but I just don't think I like the color. Rimmel. I've never tried Rimmel lip liners. I don't hate it but again I don't know if I love the color this is in the shade 
cappuccino. And for today's vibe, I was going for something a little bit more purple and pink to match this Lily Pulitzer top. I will show it to you. I am not a Lily Pulitzer bitch. And I also just want to call myself out because I, I do pride myself on being self-aware. Um, that I mentioned to you guys that I want to be like a solid color, like quiet luxury almost, even if it's not luxury, like just simple. And ever since I said that, I've done nothing but wear color. Very confused. I guess I'm confused as to who I want to be. Life is a journey. It could be different people every day if we so choose. So I'm going to use this lip liner and I'm, it's dark. How I used this yesterday was I kind of just did this like just outlined the bitty bit, the bitty bit, the, oh my God, what am I saying? I just did that and then I took my finger and I kind of like dispersed it. You see how that kind of just made it more of a shadow and less aggressive by just doing that with my fingers? So I kind of have just been keeping it, well, yesterday, I've only used this once. I keep it to the top of my lip and the very bottom of my lip. And then I kind of just smooth it out like that. You see how that like lightly defines the lips? If you have a similar complexion to me, I think a one, two, three lip liner would be stripped down by MAC. It's such a good color and it's like more of a peach. I think I'm gonna use this Sephora just to keep it in an affordable kind of realm. I know I just use MAC and they are more expensive, but Rimmel is drugstore. Let's keep it to another drugstore-ish price point. This is Sephora. I don't know what shade it is. L22, I'll put it down below. And I'm just gonna put like a very light layer of that. Now again, I like the formula. I'm not like loving the shade, but this is Milani, keep it full. So it is a lip plumper. It does tingle a little bit, but I don't find it to be uncomfortable. The shade almost natural. The shades online, I was looking at other shades last night because I'm doing this thing where I think I'm just really an adult now. Like when I find something that I love, I feel like there are so, there's such shitty quality out there. If I could just be so candid that when I find something that I love, I tend to buy it in multiple colors, in multiple things, or I just buy, you know, it multiple times. I really do like the formula and I went on Amazon and I was looking to see like what other colors they have. And I saw this color and when I was looking online, this was my favorite color, but it was definitely more pinky. In real life, it kind of looks like a concealer shade. It's just so light, you see? It's bringing me like back to Kim Kardashian in like 2016. So I kind of do the same thing. I focus it on the upper and lower and then I take my finger and I just kind of spread it out so that it gives more of a sheer vibe and it isn't so like frosty. I don't like a frosty lip. I think I'm entering this era where my just preference for a lot of things is changing. I was going through my lipsticks and I'm gonna throw these two out and it pains me to throw them out because when I tell you that these were like my pride and joy when I bought them, however, I clearly didn't wear them that much because one of them looks like I haven't even worn it. The Marc Jacobs lipsticks, like, do we remember these? This is in Cream and Sugar. Can you see that? I know the lighting in here is terrible. It's just like very pink, not my vibe. And I feel like these are really old because to be honest, I put them on the other night. Like this one, I didn't even touch. It, it is not touched. I put this on the other night and it like felt like it was bad. Like I like that color more, but honestly, neither one of these are my colors. I buy things that I love and then I don't know where they go because I can't find them and I can't see them. So I'm tossing these out as painful as that is and as big of a waste as that is. But yeah, this is the lit. Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you my outfit. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna wear it because I rented this top and I wanna get my money's worth because I rented it. I'm gonna wear my Fendi bag today, which guys, I am loving. The only thing I'm gonna say, it is very close to the armpit. Being that I've been using this during the summer when I'm wearing tops like this and, you know, tanks that my pit is exposed, it gets deodorant on it. And I'm a little concerned. It has come out. Let me bring you down. Here's the top that I'm wearing. Very not me. It's not me. I like the color. I don't know. I'm, I'm in like a color era, even though I said I don't want to be in a color era. Kind of like jean trousers, some sandals. I don't know. I'll show you in the mirror because I feel like I'm doing a terrible job. I changed my bag. It's such a good bag. Honestly, it's so good. Is it makeup? I look very shiny today. I used Charlotte Tilbury's highlighter. I don't think I want it to look this shiny. Ooh, I almost just fell over my balloon pants. Look how balloony they are, but it is what it is. Here's the bag. Love her. Oh, 
You know I love my evil eye if you watched my jewelry collection video, um, but we're off. We're gonna go to the mall. I'm probably gonna buy something and my makeup looks so good. I told you, this happens to me all the time. I hate it, love it, hate it, love it, hate it, love it. Loving, I'm loving. And the lip gets better with time too. Like, doesn't it just like look like my lips? I don't know. I honestly might love this lip gloss. I'm a little crazy. Um, I do change my mind a lot when it comes to makeup, but I feel like after it just like settles in, it just, it looks so good. I'm gonna wear more purple eyeshadow though in the future, noted. I'm a little hyper, I'm thirsty, and I'm getting a little overtired. I don't know what we're doing. Mike is doing his laundry, um, but he did say to me that I look very uncomfortable. I tucked my shirt in. Does this look any better? I just, I don't feel like this top is me. I feel like it looks better. I feel like it looks better tucked in. I just, the, the one shoulder, is throwing me off. I like it better now though. Okay, okay, I'm feeling better. I should have tucked it in and took pictures before. Guys, I really want a denim skirt, like a denim maxi skirt, but I don't think this is it either. I don't think I like that at all. All right, let us wash our face. Where is my, hold please. Honestly, I use this cushy headband so much that I don't know where it is half the time. I've been using this, which I love, but I still think I like my Pharmacy Brie Clean Cleansing Balm better. This is the Shiseido Perfect Cleansing Oil. I love the pump. It's like a very runny oil, and I like the Green Clean because it's a little thicker. So I feel like it like really takes the makeup off. Just putting this all over my dry face. First step of my double cleanse. And then I'm gonna add a little water and further work this into my skin. And then I'm gonna rinse this off. Double cleanse, and you don't need an expensive cleanser. I really like this. Neutrogena Skin Balance. Really good. I take like a full pump of that. I just like work it into my skin. Shiseido Cotton Pad. I've been loving this. I need more. I'm clearly running out. The Uli Henriksen Glow and Dark Spot Toner. AHAs and BHAs. Exfoliate the skin. I take a decent amount and I kind of just focus this where I have dark spots, where I need to exfoliate. So like anywhere where I get milia, which is on my eyelids and on the bridge of my nose, down my neck. And then for tonight, I'm gonna be using my number seven. This is the Advanced Retinol 1.5% Complex. Two pumps of this, the perfect drugstore retinol. And I'm gonna put it all over my forehead, my face, down my neck. We want to give this ample time to soak into the skin, let it dry. For moisturizer, I'm going to use my Midnight Recovery Omega-3 Concentrate. And just put this pretty much everywhere. Sobel Skin RX Triple Oligo, Oligo, I don't know. I love it though. It's a really good for those of you who have sensitive skin. I'm going to rub it between my two index fingers and concentrate it on the sides of my eyes before going in and around. Guys, I swear, like this routine has changed my skin game. Castor oil. Brushing my brows up so that I look more awake when I go and watch TV with my husband. And it's also growing the lashes. And then I'm not gonna do this now because I'm gonna take my contacts out later. But I would take what's ever left over. I would not dip back in what's ever left over and I would just go like this in my lashes, just like up top. It's Monday night. And there is really nothing quite like going to work after a long day of work, coming home, doing a quick yoga session, watching a good YouTube video, showering, and then dousing yourself in moisturizer. Like I am damp from my head to my toes. And I have three nighttime skincare routines. That might sound excessive, but none of my routines require a lot of steps. I realized that I only showed you one in this video and I should have filmed the one that I did tonight because it is different. One night I use a retinol, another night I use a serum, and then another night I use an LED mask. So I will show you all three. I showed you one in this video. So make sure you're subscribed, click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification when my next video goes live and I will show you option two out of the three. The Jets are playing, so I'm gonna go put my like happy football pants on. Football just starts too early for me. Like it's, I'm not ready for football season yet. However, I'm gonna embrace it. 
I feel left out. Everyone else is excited about football and I'm not. Football makes me think of my dad, which is why I feel like I've been so anti-football for the last two years because like when I think about my dad, I'm just sad, like whether he was sick or now that he's passed. But I think I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna try and choose to embrace it. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button next to it again so you get a little notification when my video, when a new video goes up. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.